should just let her come down when she's ready. What is that on the loose? Run for your life! Pinkie Pie, calm down. See? She's back on her branch. She's just biding her time, waiting for the right moment to pounce. Pinkie Pie, bats don't eat ponies. Not even vampire bats. But maybe vampire ponies eat other ponies. I'm not taking any chances. How did this happen? That's what I don't understand. I think this was actually our fault. Our fault? And how'd you figure that? Okay, so this is me, these are the bats, and this is Fluttershy doing her stare. The spell was supposed to go right onto the bats like this. But somehow the spell must have backfired. It took the vampire fruit bats' desire to be vampire fruit bats and transferred that desire into Fluttershy. Come on, we'll reverse the spell and make it right. Then what are we waiting for? Let's see Fluttershy before the thing eats us all! Beat the deck! <laughs> We lost her. Oh, Fluttershy, where are you? Look out! Ah! If she keeps this up, your whole crop will be gone in no time. That's the least of my worries. I just want my friend back. We'll never get her back unless we corner her and catch her so I can reverse the spell. There she is. There she goes! Oh, this is no use. I think the only way we're gonna catch her is if we find a way to lure her closer to us. But even if we can lure her to us, how are we going to get her to stay still long enough for you to do your reverse spell? Oh, if only we had Fluttershy to do her stare on the Flutter Bat! <gasps> That's it! Okay, let's get our friend back. Action stations! So much for having the winning apple in the Appaloosa State Fair, huh? <sighs> Okay. But what happened to me? You turned into a vampire pony! I tried to eat ponies? Of course not! So I wasn't a vampire? Yes! Yes, I was? Or yes, I wasn't? Yes, you were! But I didn't try to eat ponies? Yes! I did? No! Not enough fun for you? What say you to this? Your princess, we command you! 
must remember. Watch the screaming. No, Twilight Sparkle. We must use the traditional Royal Canterlot voice for what we are about to say. Since you choose to fear your princess rather than love her and dishonor her with this insulting celebration, we decree that Nightmare Night shall be canceled forever! Shoot. We had everything going our way. Luna was happy. Every pony in town was happy. Now look at them. <laughs> but I wanted to be a zombie next year. <laughs> it's not over yet. What are you gonna do? I'm going to do what I do best. Lecture her! Princess? Leave me be, Twilight Sparkle. Princess, I'm sorry it hasn't worked out how we wanted. But you have to believe me when I tell you that Nightmare Night is one of the most popular celebrations we have. Yes, I can tell by all the adoring shrieks of the children as they run away. Princess. <laughs> No, no shrieking, no squealing or screaming either, okay? There's something I want you to see, and I promise that it's safe, but you really, really, really can't shriek. Do you promise not to shriek? Mm-hmm. Pinkie Pie, you remember Princess Luna, right? Ah, the ringleader of the frightened children. Hast thou come to make peace? Hold my enthusiasm. <laughs> Who are y'all? The keepers of the Grove of Truth. You may ask us what question, past, future, or present. Sweaty boy. About the truth may not always be pleasant. All right, then. I don't trust this place where the hill beats, but I got a real bad feeling about this feller, Discord. What's going to come of this here mission we're on? For the answer you seek, go ahead, take a peek. I hope I never see you again! Me too! Fine! Fine! It's settled then. No! Our friendship... <laughs> it can't be true. It just came. That just can't be the truth. Well, all the truth does is make your heart ache. Sometimes, Sometimes a lie is easier to take. take. Jack, thank goodness. I thought I heard voices over here. Who are you talking to? I was talking to, uh, no pony. No pony whatsoever. 
What? Nothing. Come on. Uh, we best be going. Did Applejack just... Come on, Twilight. Applejack wouldn't lie. <laughs> Pinkie Pie, I thought you appreciated a good laugh. It's different. They're laughing at me. It's hardly different. Your friends laugh at you all the time. My friends laugh with me, not at me. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Here I thought laughter made you happy. Happy? I don't think so. Pinkie Pie, are we glad to see you? Oh, you are, huh? Why? Need a good laugh. Pinkie? What do you suppose has her so upset? It's not like her. I didn't notice anything strange about Pinkie. Weird. Better pick up the pace before the stress of this gets the better of all of us. I was expecting an audience with the princess, not outdoor sport. <laughs> oh <my. laughs> Welcome to your lucky day, Rarity. You found the one thing in Equestria that could rival my face for sheer beauty. What do you think you like? Yes, I like very much. <clears throat> no, no, I shan't succumb to such fabulousness. <laughs> He's completely out of control. Who knows where he'll go next? Perhaps some more ruffles.
Tony's things, terrorize the town, and use me as a weapon against my own friends. Which, as horrible as it is, I can almost understand because you're a dragon and all. But this... This is a crime against fashion! <laughs> You are not getting this gemstone! <clears throat> this was given to me by my dear friend, Spikey Wikey, The kindest, sweetest, most generous dragon ever! And it is too precious to me to give to a greedy old beast like you! <clears throat> I don't know what to say. This is just so generous. <laughs> oh, what now? I suppose you'll be eating me or something. Spike? You're the rampaging dragon? So the paradise that the ponies had found was soon lost, buried beneath a thick blanket of snow and hard feelings. Instead of beautiful, it was blizzardy. Instead of wonderful, it was wintry. Instead of spectacular, it was snowtacular. Instead of... We get it! Move on! <clears throat> Every pony was forced to seek shelter. They searched high and low. But the only shelter for miles was a cold and desolate cave. And, of course, the three tribes had to share it. And no pony was too happy about that. Please, Commander Hothead. It's Commander Hurricane. <clears throat> Please, Commander, could you just stand back and give me my royal space? You mean like this, Your Highness? Indeed not. You see this invisible line? Private? Outline our territory for every pony to see. See this real non invisible line? No unicorns or earth ponies are allowed to cross it. This is the sovereign territory of Pegasopolis. Clover the Clever? Ah, uh, smart cookie! I know, I know. What are you doing? Don't go around the rock, go over it! I'm not giving up an inch of territory to the enemy. That rock is clearly on the unicornia side of the cave, and it belongs to us. Who knows? There could be jewels inside. I claim this rock for Pegasopolis! Unhand that rock this instant, you scoundrel! Oh, look! You found my rock! I've been looking for it everywhere! Hey! You invaded our territory! Finders keepers, losers reapers! That's the last straw! Give me my rock! A royal order! Look, every pony! The entrance! Great! Now there's no way out! We're trapped! You two deserve this horrible fate! You've done nothing but argue and fight with each other! You've been fighting too, your highness! Yeah! Worse! I haven't been fighting nearly as much as you! Oh, 
ridiculous! A unicorn never suits the fighting! That's just because you wimpy unicorns know you never win! Earth ponies are not soft! Pegasi are brutes! The more hate the spirit feels, the colder things become. Then this is our fault. We three tribes. We brought this blizzard to our home by fighting and not trusting each other. Now it's destroying this land too. And now our bodies will become as cold as our hearts. All because we were foolish enough to hate.
Applejack? There were three of you? Yep, we all played Mary do well at different times. I stopped the carriage bus with these babies. Bucky McGilligoody and Kicks McGee. I saved the construction workers with my pinky sense. Sorry. It's all right. And I used my magic to fix the dam. Ooh, ooh, and I did the fly-by afterwards. I made the costumes. Fabulous if I do say so myself. I don't understand. Why? Don't you want me to be a hero? Of course we want you to be a hero. But a real hero doesn't brag. Uh, I guess I did start to brag a little. A, a little? little? Okay, a lot. Celebrating your accomplishments is natural, but rubbing them in every pony's face is not. Yeah, the only thing that should be rubbed in any pony's face is chocolate cake. <laughs> I think we're getting off topic here. What we're trying to say is, it's great to be really good at something, but it's important to act with grace and humility. Oh, that makes loads more sense. Yeah, you're right. And I guess I should also act with grace and humility when others outshine me. Like, mare do well. Sounds like you've got a letter to write to Princess Celestia. Already got it covered. As your ghostwriter, I've already penned a letter to the princess. That's nice of you, Spike, but I really want to write this letter myself. Oh, come on. I wrote the whole thing already. Okay, let's hear it. <clears throat> Dear Princess Sol Look out! It's a real ghost! Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, look, we're here already. Should we get something to eat? <laughs> Twilight, Twilight, look at our hole! Oh, can you believe it? <laughs> and then we went to Cheerilee's house and we got a bunch more goodies, didn't we, Pip? Sure did. And then we had to stop and wait for Granny Smith and then we <laughs> Dash, that wasn't very nice. Lighten up, old timer. This is the best night of the year for pranks. Look what you did to Spike. <coughs> oh, it's all in good fun. Oh, oh, there's another group over there. Happy nightmare night, Applejack. Howdy, Spike. Hey, Twilight. Nice costume. Thanks. I'm a dragon. She means me, Spike. With that beard, I reckon you're some sort of country music singer. <laughs> well, y'all are here. You feel like bobbing for an apple? Thank you, everypony. And welcome to the Nightmare Night Festival. <laughs> Now, all the little ponies who have been out collecting sweets should follow our friend Zakora to hear the legend of Nightmare Moon! Her spooky voice might work better if she wasn't dressed like that. <laughs> follow me, and very soon you'll hear the tale of Nightmare Moon. Listen close, my little dears. I'll tell you where you got your fears. Of Nightmare Night, so dark and scary. Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary. Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. But Nightmare Moon wants just one thing. To gobble up ponies in one quick swing. <laughs> Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by. So if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year. Oh, uh, Miss Zakora, if we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, 
How come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two, so she won't return to come eat you! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>